god, morning everybody, it's me again, Chris Bradley here, so it is 9 o'clock on a Wednesday morning, no appointments today, so oh, I can breathe a sigh of relief, so I did stay in bed a little bit longer, I've only just dragged myself out of bed, but I've stripped um, James's bed, so I've chucked like the washing machine, because so far the weather looks quite nice, um, whether it's going to rain in a bit, I don't know, but it's going to be windy and a bit warm, so I thought, oh, a good day for dry washing. My friends have just had their little treats, um, so I don't know whether to go and get dressed or whether to have my breakfast first, I'm not sure what to do. Right, breakfast, I thought I'd have my breakfast, then I'll go and get ready, so 30 grams of cornflakes, and cornflakes for my friend. Right, you ready? I've been so naughty at night, I'm nibbling again. Night time nibbling. Oh, right, Florence. Dolly. Winnie. <laughs> right, makeup done, hair done. I was gonna have my hair down, then pin one bit up, then another bit up, and I thought we're going up. So we've gone up. <laughs> Weather, as I said, it looks quite a nice day so far, fingers crossed. Morning, me, Pat, Peggy, Flora. Still got to sort out your crown, my darling. I managed to get one from the chair shop the other day, like a real one. Look at this. Oh, look at it. It's wonderful. Not sure if it's going to be a bit big. Might have to borrow it. <laughs> but we're going to make it look fabulous. Right, so little Bubba, bless him. And little mental health potato that looks like he's having a little snooze. Are you having a little snooze down there? So I hope you're all doing okay. I say this every morning because if you're having a tough day, remember we're all here for each other. Honestly, my mental health is... So I totally understand how you feel and I know lots of people on here also understand as well. So you're not alone. If you're having a rubbish day or you're feeling a bit worried, scared, anxious, just let us know in the comment section. We're all here for you and to share it definitely does make you feel better. So we're sitting back up and remember to look after your mental health. Right, so I've just done all my makeup. Um, I've tested my new, a new eye stuff i haven't got this one i thought i had but i haven't um so this is a new one and it goes with the cream which comes out on the first of may absolutely brilliant i've also put on my new eyeliner which is the 24 hour gel eyeliner it went on really nice i've got it in chocolate round color and it glided under my eyes really easy some eyeliners really drag and pull this didn't it glided on really nice so let's see if it smudges or how long it stays on for for the rest of the day so check out my eyes we'll see how long it lasts so calendar of the day yesterday was good i'm not afraid of storms so i'm learning how to sail my ship so today's oh what's this one Hang on. happiness a feeling that is created within you and by you no one else can construct it and hand it to you that's right yeah you've got to do it yourself and it can be the smallest little thing that can make you feel a million times better so i hope you have a tiny bit of happiness today so lovely chanel's wisdom we've got uh women ought to play their weaknesses never their strengths mm. and black cab wisdom to finish first first you have to finish that's very true you do not have to be great to get started but you have to start off to be great oh they're really good i like both of those happy wednesday hmm i was just checking on the weather i've got a big crow in my tree um oh, i can't believe it. i've just looked on the weather app and it says that there's a 95 percent <laughs> get my words out there's a 95 percent chance of rain in a minute really you're not allowed to read and then it shows a 50% chance of rain for the rest of the day <laughs> so I need to get the washing dry James is like bed bedding and stuff and I think I can't believe it's going to rain well the washing is out fingers crossed it doesn't rain here I am so unbelievably it's half past 10 already and I've done nothing um, my whole house is absolutely filthy, everyone needs cleaning, tidying up, um, because I keep going to all these appointments I've not had a good day to like really get stuck into stuff so 
a few jobs on my hit list. I've got to clean my bathroom, it's absolutely disgusting. Um, I need to like clean, like hoover up everywhere. My sitting room, I dusted and stuff the other day, so that's not too bad, but everywhere just needs a really good tidy up. There's a lot of stuff needs putting away. Obviously, I've still got my Easter stuff out, but I'm gonna put that away in a couple of days. I uh, just thought we'd like try and milk the Easter thing a little bit longer, because it's so pretty. And obviously, I've got my cards from my lovely subscribers, which is nice to have out for a few more days. Um, I've got to make a blooming phone call in a minute for my husband, which might take me a while to sort something out. I don't want to do that. <laughs> but I really need to get stuck in some jobs. And then last night, when I went to bed, I looked on Instagram because I really want to decorate Ruby's bedroom, me and Ruby want to do it and we can't pick a vibe, like we know kind of what we want but we can't find anything like the wall or the paint colours to do it without it just looking like a white box. So I was looking on Instagram last night for ideas and I found this lady's house, I think she's got some like 3 million followers and her house, she does a lot of stuff herself, she got like a beautiful fireplace she'd done and and I was looking at it till like midnight. It was absolutely amazing. And it makes you want to change your whole house. She got like Scandi vibes. So there was a lot of like whites and wood um, and like sort of creams and neutrals, but lots of texture and a bit of black. And it was just absolutely beautiful. It made me want to like redecorate everywhere. And then I couldn't get to sleep because I was thinking of all these like ideas going around in my head. Uh, yeah, daft when you get when you get sucked into the rabbit hole of the internet, it sucks you in, doesn't it, and you can't stop. Uh, anyway, right, I'm waffling. I really need to get some jobs done. <laughs> oh, and I've got my new glasses on again. So I did ring the glasses shop yesterday. They have made me another appointment for next week. Um, so I'm going back to see one of the dispensing ladies that I really like. She's a similar age to me and she's got a similar issue with her new glasses. So she totally understood where I was coming from. Um, so I just thought I'd put them on and see if they do give me a bit of a headache and a, sort of what I think the issue is with them. So I can kind of discuss it more next week. So. I've got them on again. Right, so we have to start somewhere. So we'll start with boring jobs. Um, I've tried to make the phone call, they didn't answer. So I'm gonna have to call them back again. So we've got to wash up, empty dishwasher. Uh, then we'll probably hoover, I think, which gets rid of most of the dust off the floor. Um, and then we'll probably move on to cleaning the bathroom if I can be bothered. <laughs> I hate cleaning. I have to be in the mood. I don't think I'm quite in the mood, but I'm trying to make myself in the cleaning zone. Wake Ruby up. Where's Ruby? You gonna go and find Ruby? Go and find Ruby. Is Ruby awake? Oh! <laughs> Has she found you? <laughs> okay, Mr. Shark. Oh, are you ready? I hope you're hungry. I really can't be bothered. Oh, right. Let's get cracking. multitasking <laughs> so i've come back outside to hang my washing out we're multitasking aren't we dolly right back to the vacuuming let's go find mr shark again oh i've got a bit of abba on to get us uh, motivated a good sing-along while you're hoovering <laughs> keeping it real <laughs> oh bloody hate hoovering it's hard work bag of rubbish bag of dust <laughs> So I've got a sitting room, the stairs, and the upstairs a bit to do. And then we finish the hoovering. Look at the state of my hair. <laughs> and I actually can't believe how many dog toys Dolly spread throughout the house. Like everywhere I've been, I've had to move dog toys. Look at them all. Right, just the stairs to tackle now, and the upstairs a bit. Come on, Jamie, keep going. <laughs> Last room to vacuum. But I thought I'll make the bed first. Um, and then I'll go, go over it with a hoover after. Mm. So I made the bed and then looked out the window and thought, it's raining. So I've run downstairs, bought some of my washing in and then stood outside and thought, mm, it's only spitting. So it's that funny weather where you don't know whether to bring the washing in or not. So I've left the sheets out and just bought the pillowcases in. What are you doing? Are you playing ball? <laughs> right, we're on the home stretch now, nearly done. Then we can get some dinner. Scruffy teenagers a lot. Well, he's not a teenager, is he? But scruffy. Need to learn to empty the bins. Ah, it's clean for five minutes. <laughs> right, so I'm just putting some washing away while I'm waiting for my bacon. Um, look at my socks, trousers, and pugs. <laughs> and there's my dinner. So I've got a little bacon cob that I've made, and a little bacon cob each for my friends, and a cup of coffee in me. Be happy, mug. Oh, my dinner was lovely. Very tasty. Right. The 
prize for the best tail goes to Florence. <laughs> Look at the tail, bless her. Oh, Florence, you have the best tail ever. Right, so. Uh, right, you go over there then, Dolly. Two bits of what you've got, bacon and cob. Right, Florence, bacon and cob. And Winifred, bacon and cob. There you go. Lovely jubbly. Nice. Don't forget your cob. Look at my socks. <laughs> Don't forget your cobs. I've got the best socks in the world. <laughs> mm, it's proper raining now. So I'm about to bring it all in. It's stick of the day. So I'm testing the new Avon one. So this is the Avon 16 hour new one. And this one's called Rise Up Ruby, <laughs> which is good because I've got a ruby. It's really nice. It's very matte. As soon as you put it on, it was like instantly matte. And it's quite a dark red lot. And it is like a ruby red. It's really nice. It makes your teeth look very white. It's very pretty. Right. Like when you've been to the shop, Ruby's decided, or we've both kind of decided, her hair looks a little bit orange, so we're going to see if we can get like a little toner thing to go over the top of it. So she's dragging me out of the house now, even though I'm supposed to be cleaning up. But anyway, let's go in the wind and the rain. Thanks, Ruby. All right, so I'm trying to get my few bits that I need for tea first. So first of all, I've just been in Tesco and got my chicken. Now I've come here to get me see a better stuff. I hope they've got some. They are so tasty. I really like them. They're all really, oh, posh prawn cocktail. Right, I've got my sea better bread. <laughs> right, so now I need to make a way across the boots to get hair colour. We've arrived. And it's a bit of rain, so now I don't know if I need a brolly or not. <laughs> We've braved it without the umbrella. So I'm just going to get a bit damp. <laughs> like nobody. <laughs> it's like a ghost town. Raining now. <laughs> now we're going to get wet. <laughs> it's just, um, oh, what's that? Is that well, monkey? Well, we've not been for years, have we? No, we haven't been for years either. Is it, is it for hanging stuff or is it for like knitting or something? That's clever, isn't it? Turn the ball into a vase. Right. Right, we may have actually fell into the cake shop. <laughs> we shouldn't have gone in the cake shop, should we, Ruby? So cute, it's got a little white strap down the side and a little like checker plate. It's adorable. Right, and the lady in the bird's cake shop uh, really wanted to know exactly what makeup I used. She was like, I need to know, I need to use the same makeup as you because your skin looks amazing. And I was like, I'm so embarrassed. Um, I was like, it's Avon, they didn't believe me, did they, Ruby? They were like, no, it can't be, we use Estee Lauder. I was like, honestly, it's just Avon. <laughs> So I've promised her I'm going to drop her a book off. She was like, I need to, you need to tell me everything you use. So I've got to write her a list of what I use. I was like, you need to use the serum moisturiser. It's amazing. Um, and the serum foundation is so good. She was like, just tell me what you use. <laughs> Bless her. So next time I come, I've got to remember to bring a book with me. Right, we've made it home. So I'm going to drop uh, perhaps paper off and drop an Avon book off. Let's go. So we got the colour and I bought this. I bet you knew I'd buy this. Um thought it'd be quite nice. We can look at it in an afternoon. Let's see what today says then. Hang on. 
it says the blue of heaven is larger than the cloud oh right the castings is mixed up it's going on so we're sorry waiting you're very entertaining <laughs> oh that's wonderful you're very clever as well Ooh, look it's so pretty so it's like blended it in more um i think it looks really nice she reckons it still looks orangey but i think it looks really pretty it's got lots of colors going for it it's lovely so i've brought her into the daylight look it's so pretty there's so many different colors oh ruby i really like it it's really nice oh, she doesn't like it because i've curled it she doesn't like curly hair well she loves curly hair, but she doesn't like how I've curled it, should I say. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, Ruby, it's so nice. Right, I've been on the phone to my mum. Ta-da! I've created my tea. So we've got a lovely sea better bread. Lots of salad, um, cooked chicken, mozzarella and stuff melted on it. It is so tasty. <gasps> It's absolutely beautiful. Co-op sea better bread is absolutely beautiful. Off to enjoy it. Oh, it's feeding time. My tea was delicious. Right, we've got a little bit of chicken tonight. A bit of extra chicken. No, that's not your chicken. <laughs> chick, 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 chicken. Little, little for me. When you friend. Chick, 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 chicken. Little, little for me. <laughs> Have you done? <laughs> yes, the door is shut because you've chucked your food everywhere. Right, there you go. <laughs> right, the time has come to pick a winner for the little carrots. Woohoo! So, James has set it all up. Are you ready? Pick a winner, James. Oh, this smells so nice. Yay! I would absolutely adore to win the carrots. They're stunning. My motto is no rain, no flowers. And I've lived like by this since being 18. Congratulations! So, A B Babe 09, uh, if you want to email me your address and I'll get the little carrot sent out to you. Congratulations! Right, it is. <laughs> I'm going to love you and leave you. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> so, many thanks for joining us again today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, congratulations to our lovely winner from a lovely carrot. So, I have to make some more and give some more away because uh, they don't take me that long to make. So, it'd be nice to give some more away. So, many thanks for being there with me again today. I hope you've enjoyed it. So, if you do enjoy just a little bit of real life, then please subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Bless her. Uh, come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. Uh, my dogs have got Instagram, which is free for fours. My website is down below, and my little Avon shop is down below. So I love you and leave you. I'll see you tomorrow. Say bye, Dolly. Poor. Where's poor? Poor. Poor. You are a make out. You always do it. Poor. Good girl. <laughs> so we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.